I don't want to come to the end. <laughs> no, no, and, and, and it's um, it's a path to knowledge, isn't it, and to a deeper uh, to deeper understanding. It's a, it's a profound realization of who we are. It is, and, yeah. and, and it's I, the more I do this and everything, the the, the more simple I realize it is, and, and and the more, in a sense, I feel I can just relax into it and be. Um, yet. I want to work and I want to keep creating, but it's it, it it's like um, I, I'm I'm permanently on holiday in a sense with it, and uh, it, it's 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 all new sensations and it, it's wonderful. So I, I do believe creativity is the core of humanity. We are mm. all creative, and and to suppress that creativity is to suppress our lives fully. Absolutely, you know, whatever this thing is we're in. Uh, I love I love the Tim Freaks videos, you know, you go, the first question is, he's like, <laughs> he says, what is this? And like, you know, some of them are like, can you ask me an easier question? <laughs> and, and, and whatever this is, it's a creation. So I think we should create within this creation. It's like the ultimate kind of thank you, if you like. Yeah, yeah. We be aware of of what is here and what we can do. You know that that's the thing. You know, don't don't suppress yourself. You know, I, I would say don't suppress because you, you're suppressing um, your life and part of life. You know, if you create, you, you you create a flow of beauty into the world, and we keep that flow of beauty. And beauty is divine it's profound it's mm. important it's integral to all of life so mm. yeah and i think the worth adding one thing and i'm sure you probably agree with this is this detachment from it because sometimes i'll go to travel to a concert let's say in london and i'm willing it to be good you know on the train i want it to be good and then afterwards it's not <laughs> so i will too much that I wanted it to be a good performance and I wanted to find something new. And then mm. sometimes the opposite, like, you know, I've not got on well with the, maybe there's been some things before the concert that have not gone quite as I would have liked smoothly. And I might feel a bit disgruntled and I'm having to sort of let go of that feeling, you know, be aware of my awareness and try and attend to the piano. But the minute that happens and all that is gone, actually, that always the actors in playing a part in making that a, a special performance even though the other one where i really willed it to be good wasn't yes yeah yeah we can there's nothing wrong with pushing yourself but um you know there's a bit of chaos really isn't there we've got to accept that things will be chaotic and it can't be easily uh, pre-planned yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i mean just just let it be i mean i think that's the thing isn't it just be aware that there's going to be chaos and just try and be calm within you. You try and not calm. Um, try and be, you know, just yeah, calm in a sense. Well, in the sense of <laughs> carrying on and making it work for you. But there will be chaos around, and some of that chaos might be absolutely superb. You know, it'd be wonderful, inspiration, great, wonderful. Thank goodness that we've been talking about Barfield. That's why I was so attracted to Barfield. That you, you can't put this in a language that we're talking about. Because, uh, you know, by, I like, it like Kant kind of a, uh, sort of alludes to, doesn't it? He's kind of, it, language is just a synthetic kind of, you don't get close to what reality really is with language. No, I mean, the and best, that's what I find so great in Barfield. Yeah, the best language in this Barfield pioneered is poetry, isn't it? And, 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 you know, because poetry paints that picture, doesn't it? It doesn't, it doesn't label things. It paints a picture and then it opens up more. The aspect is opened up more with the painting of a poem, you know. So absolutely, it's not. You know, my concern to see is that whether we're we're ever more literal, where we take literally what something says, yeah. whereas if you read Wordsworth or Coleridge, or all these great poets, you you have to you have to ha apprehend that with your imagination, and I think that's one of the early Barfield quotes, and I wrote it down. What did he say? A metaphor is a window onto an entirely new meaning. It's not the same as the meaning of the individual word. It's something between two meanings and can only be apprehended by the imagination and not by the logical brain. But it's not unreal for that reason. 